Hey guys, I already in here. Today we're gonna unbox this game, Nefarious. I have no idea what this game is about, so not only are we gonna unbox it, but we're gonna play with it a little bit and see what it's all about. So I've been playing this game for almost over an hour, almost two hours now, and in the beginning I didn't quite like it that much. Then after a while I really realized what the game was about. So the game is about this washed up villain. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Bad guy crashes party. Kidnaps princess, makes dramatic exit. Plucky handsome hero gives chase. Epic quest ensues. But funny story. Yeah, I'm the bad guy. The Favorite has this one princess that he kidnaps all the time. And it became so much of a chore that it's no, no, nobody cares anymore. He kidnapped the princess. He's basically at the end of the stage, I guess, and the superhero comes. Remember, you're playing as the villain. So the superhero comes to save the princess, except that he's gonna break up with her. Take a look at the scene. It's actually quite hilarious. So he goes back to his um, ship, air castle, what have you. So he came up with this new plan to reinvent himself. He is going to go to other kingdoms where there are other villains and actually steal their princesses. And okay, all right, sounds all fun and nice, but I, I didn't really see where the game was coming into play. It would just seem like a basic platformer to me with a nice little humorous plot twist which is always great. And the first real level, which is really the second level, I guess, you kidnap this bee princess. And when you kidnap other princesses, you actually gain an extra power. So for example, this bee, when you, when you kidnap her, when you jump, you jump a little higher, you're a little bit more floatier, and you basically gain that power while you, while you have that princess. And 
you it seems like you gained the princess from the halfway point of the stage so it, it seems okay it doesn't seem bad at all the hidden um, hidden areas uh, little things to collect along the way records um, overall after playing it for about an hour or two I really started to enjoy the game and it kept me interested in a way that I guess I really can't describe too much the humor was perfect it wasn't too much it wasn't too little it was just right and I actually want to play more so I definitely recommend this game if you kind of get the indie box it's not a big deal just buy it online visually 